Is Sam Harris a real scientist? Okay, we are going to put Sam Harris up against what a scientist is at least supposed to be, which is unbiased, bringing a blank slate to the examination, performing repeatable experiments, making observations, and um, just interpreting evidence within its own context, what have you. Now, before Sam Harris became a neuroscientist, okay, before, he was asked, what do you believe is true even though you cannot prove it? That was asked by EDGE, the World Question Center. And he replied, what I believe, though I cannot yet prove, is that belief is a content-independent process, which is to say that beliefs about God, to the degree that they are really believed, are the same as beliefs about numbers, penguins, tofu, or anything else. What I do believe, however, is that the neural process that governs the final acceptance of statements as true rely on more fundamental reward-related circuitry in our frontal lobes, probably the same region that judge the pleasantness of tastes and odors. Once the neurology of belief becomes clear and it stands revealed as an all-purpose emotion arising in a wide variety of contexts, often without warrant, religious faith will be exposed for what it is, a humble species of terrestrial credulity. We will then have additional scientific reasons to declare that merely feelings of convic conviction are not enough when it comes time to talk about the, the way the world is. The only thing that guarantees that sufficiently complex beliefs actually represent the world are chains of evidence and argument linking them to the world. Understanding belief at the level of the brain may hold the key to new insights into the nature of our minds, to new rules of discourse, and to new frontiers of human cooperation. Well, all his um, utopian mythologizing aside, the point isn't even the argument he's making. The point is that before he actually got in, involved in science, before he became a scientist, he had a goal in mind. He comes to the science with a preconceived notion, with a predetermined goal. He wants to disprove what he refers to as belief, in this case theism, and he wants to prove atheism. I mean, he's not a real scientist. He's in it with a goal, with a purpose. He conceived of a plan, and he's there just to carry out his plan so that he can preach atheism. Now, with the added authority of being able to call himself a scientist and refer to that which he does as science.